Hello students, this is Swati Deshpande teacher. Today we will be taking few sums which are very very important from an important topic perimeter. See students, I have already uploaded one more video on perimeter. If you have not seen, please see that. And there is one full video on perimeter topic. That is also important, so please see that. Okay, let's begin with today's video. The first sum will appear on your screen. In the figure, the length of the segment LE is 15 cm. Find the perimeter of the figure. See, I have drawn the figure here on the board. LE, LE, this entire thing is 15 cm. See, students, you all know these small, small lines indicated everywhere. What does it mean? All these segments are of equal length. Okay? So, this 15 is addition of this LM plus MN plus NE. So, that 15 centimeter is made up of three small parts. So, each part will be of 5 centimeter, right? So, each this portion is of 5 centimeter. Once we know this, to arrive at the final answer is not difficult at all. We need to find out how many such 5, 5 centimeters are involved in this figure. So, let's find out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, there are 20 and in case of perimeter, we need to find out the outer border. But here outer border means this is also outer part, LO, because this figure is not like this, it is here like this. So this is also outer part only. So we have to consider all the, if there would have been line like this, then we would not have taken, right? But there is no line inside like this. The entire part, if you start your pencil like this, the outer portion you will get. Okay, so these portions are also outer border only. So we need to take everything. So all these are 20 parts. So 20 into 5. 100 centimeter is the answer. Very, very easy. In this kinds of figure, students ignore few parts because they feel that is an in inner part of the figure. But to confuse you, we give something like this. Don't get confused. The length and the breadth of a rectangular plot are 80 meter and 50 meter respectively. A road of width 5 meter is prepared in the inner side of the plot. Find the perimeter of the inner rectangular plot. See there is one rectangular plot. Very nice summer. This is a rectangle. This is 80 meter and 50 meter. Breadth is 50 meter. Inside they want the road of 5 meter. Okay? What does it mean? This is 5 meter. This is 5 meter. This is 5 meter. Everywhere 5 meter. Right? This is 5 meter. So, they want us to find out the perimeter of the inner, means this rectangle. How to find out that? See, inner length is up to this. Okay? So, from this 80, if we reduce this 5 and reduce this 5, we will get the length of the inner smaller rectangle. Means, if I say 80, this 5 and this 5 minus curve. See, this is, this entire is the length of the bigger rectangle and this much is the length of the smaller rectangle. Means what is not there? This portion and this portion. How much is this? 5 and 5. So, I have to reduce 10. So, the length of the smaller rectangle is 70. Similarly, this is the breadth of the bigger rectangle and this is the breadth of the smaller rectangle. What is not there? This portion. 5 and this portion 5. So, from this entire 50, I have to reduce this 5 and this 5. So, 50 minus 10. 
that is 40. This is the breadth. This is the length. Right? Once we know this, finding out perimeter is not a big thing at all. If we know the formula of a perimeter of a rectangle. 2 times length plus 2 times breadth, that also we do. 2 into length is 70 plus breadth is 40. So, 2 into 70 plus 40 is 110. So, answer is 220 meters. If we use that other formula, the answer won't change. P is equal to 2 times length plus 2 times breadth. 2 times length means 2 into 70 plus 2 times breadth is 2 into 40. Bond mass, first we need to do this. 140 plus 80. Addition is 220 meters. Both the formulas are correct. This is the intellectual portion. How to arrive at 70 and 40? That is more important. So you have to see this figure, visualize it properly. How much we need to deduct from the bigger rectangle to find out the smaller rectangle measurements. Then you are done. Okay? Chal, aage hai. Area of a square garden is 1600 meter square. Five rounds of wire fence have to be put around it. How much wire is needed? Here they have given area of a square garden. Here that word square is very important and area is very important. How much is the area? Area is 1600 meter square. Always in square. Area is always in unit square. And this is a square garden. So what is the formula of area of a square? Side into side or side square, right? So from this area, if I want to find out the side of that particular square garden, how will I do that? I need to find out the square root of this. How to find out the square root of 1600? Very easy. 16 ka square root is 4. 2 zeros ka half zero. Even number of zeros. 2 zeros. So, half of it is 1 zero. So, side is equal to 40 meter. Why am I finding out side? Because unless and until I know the side, I won't be able to find out the perimeter. Why am I finding out perimeter? Because this is a question of fencing. When we need to fence something, fencing is in the border, right? When we need to do anything to the border of any shape, square, rectangle, circle, we need to find out the perimeter or the, in case of circle, it is circumference, right? We need to find out the perimeter to find out one fence or one round of fence, okay? Chalo, find out karte hai. Perimeter of a square ka formula kya hai? Perimeter of a square is 4 into side. That is 4 into 40. We have found out side, right? So it is 160 meter. Means one round of fence will be 160 meter. Here 160 meter may be one of the option. But here we need to find out 5 rounds of fencing. So, a round is 160. 5 rounds. So, what we need to do? 160 into 5. That is 800 meter. 800 meter is the answer. Very, very essential to read the question properly. 5 rounds, 6 rounds, 2 rounds, whatever it is. Depending on that, we need to multiply to the value of the perimeter of that particular shape. Isn't it very easy? Students, perimeter is very, very easy topic because it is based on formulae. But at the same time, students get puzzled or confused with the wording of the question. So, we need to do more and more practice. Practice makes a person perfect, isn't it? There is a proverb or saying, as you practice more and more, your comfort zone will be more. Students, please see my entire video on perimeter. That will solve your 
questions about the formulae and how to use the various formulae. Okay, students, I will come with the next video very very soon. लेकिन अगर आपको मेरे वीडियोस अच्छे लगते हैं तो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल लाइक माई वीडियो ओके कमेंट ऑन देम इफ यू हैवेरी डिफिकल्टी देन ऑल्सो यू कैन पुट देम इन द कमेंट सेक्शन आई विल डेफिनेटली ट्राई टू आंसर देम आई विल कम विद द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वेरी वेरी सून बच्चे लोग टिल देन वॉट आर यू सपोज टू डू यस स्टडी वेल एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज यस एंजॉय स्टडी बाय